What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. You don't want to miss them. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about how much time I have left in residency. For those who don't know, to become an orthopedic surgeon, it requires four years of college, four years of medical school, five years of residency, and 90% of people do a one to two year fellowship. And this can be in pediatric orthopedic surgery, sports medicine, spine surgery, which I'm doing, joint replacements like hip and knee replacements. You can do hand surgery, shoulder and elbow, oncology. So lots of different fellowships that you can go into. But I'm at the, the end of my residency. I have about 200 days left of residency. And I wanted to talk about kind of what happens next Kind of how does that come into play in terms of the end of your, your residency? So as a fifth year resident, you do similar things that you do in your first four years. You do different rotations. At my program, we do two month rotations in trauma surgery. I'm doing pediatric orthopedic surgery right now. I do shoulder and elbow. I go to the VA. So different rotations. So it's very similar. It's just different in terms of how you approach the year. So earlier on in my residency, I would possibly go into a case and not have any idea of what's going on. As a chief resident, you're expected to know how to do the case. If the staff physician just says, hey, I'm gonna go next door and do another case or I need to go to a clinic and see some patients, you're responsible for doing that particular case and knowing the critical steps of the surgery, what to do when something goes wrong. So you really gotta know your information as compared to a junior or lower level resident. This year, we take a in-training exam, which we just took about two weeks ago. Also, at the end of your fifth year, you take your board exam. Just like in medical school, when your first and second year of medical school, you take your step one after that. Well, after your five years of surgery training, you take your orthopedic surgery boards. So my everyday approach is kind of preparing for that and making sure I do well on that. At the end of residency, we have a graduation, just like end of medical school, end of college, end of any type of uh, formal education. We have a uh, graduation where we have a, a guest speaker, we have presentations, we present our research that we did throughout residency, and then they give awards out to certain residents. So it's a really big deal. And I'm actually looking forward to that. It's coming up in, in a couple months. But 200 days left. What happens next? I applied to a fellowship in spine surgery and matched. I'll be heading to uh, do my spine surgery fellowship. And basically it's a year long and I will kind of learn kind of new techniques, new operative approaches and different various things in the field of spine surgery. So I'm really looking forward to that. So 200 days left, I take my boards in a couple months. And then after that, I start fellowship right, right after that. So, and then after your fellowship, most people go into either private practice or academic medicine. And you can check out this video here uh, where I explain kind of the difference between the two and some pros and cons of each. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'm looking forward to these last 200 days of residency. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.